Philippines is indeed a country with rich history and culture. Manila, its capital city, has a lot of historical treasures to offer. If you're finding a place for leisure, fun, and adventure, join us in discovering and unleashing the wonders inside the walls of Intramuros. If you're on a budget, going to Intramuros is just an easy walk from Manila City Hall located at the historic center of Ermita, Manila. The Manila City Hall building, designed by Antonio Toledo, stands tall from the time of its construction since 1901. The walled city built by the Spaniards during their occupation of Manila is a marvelous way to spend the day in the city. It is located along the southern bank of the Pasig River and was built by the Spaniards in the 16th century. It is the oldest district of the city of Manila. The name is taken from the Latin intra and muros, literally means within the walls. Fort Santiago is the former military headquarters of the Spanish colonial government. Although the fort sustained heavy damages during the 1945 Battle of Manila, several key portions of the compound were restored, including its iconic gate with a wooden relief featuring Santiago Matamoros, the patron saint of The near Romanist church was destroyed and rebuilt several times over. The cathedral is the seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Manila and one of the most important churches in the Philippines. Through Spanish Baroque treasure with magnificent ceilings and a splendid high altar. This ancient building managed to survive the Second World War and is said to be the oldest stone church in the Philippines. The National Museum is a government institution in the Philippines and serves as an educational, scientific, and cultural institution in preserving the various permanent national collections featuring the ethnographic, anthropological, archaeological, and visual artistry of the Philippines. The main hall of the National Museum features paintings that depict different historical scenes from the events of Spanish occupation in the country. And that concludes our short travel review about the historic landmarks in Manila. This has been your tour guides, Maybelline Esmalia and Jennifer Nadua. Thanks for watching!